that you and I should work longer to help make up the problem with Social Security, right? And it just, it just gets under my skin to believe that this guy, and you're going to see his picture on here, that this guy is worth $1.2 billion, billion with a B, billion dollars. And he would rather have average everyday Americans work longer to try and fix Social Security. Now, economists are, are you know, have pushed back on this and they say, point blank, there's a lot of people who just can't work longer. They don't, you know, they might like to work longer, but they don't have that opportunity, right? Their health, their employer might not want them to continue to work after a certain age. There's lots of reasons why people can't continue to work, but it, it just gets under my skin that people are so <clears throat> tone deaf. Is millionaire fast lane in which he talks about the fact that if you are you know in the slow lane, you are basically saving money and 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 trying to save up your million dollars right um, over time. And, and that that, you know, that, that basically that's what corporations want you to do. They want you to work for them. And, and basically this guy, Larry Fink, is saying, please work until you die, or as close to when you die as you can, to continue to make us more money, right? And that is un-American. And now I'm not a socialist. You can, you can make comment if you want to. But I think that, you know, when we look at how much taxes that most billionaires are paying, they have a whole fleet of attorneys that do nothing but you know, work on getting their taxes down to zero, right? Or as close to zero as they can. And, you know, by extension, they don't pay as much taxes as a percentage of their, their income as we do, as average Americans do, right? There's not a person that's watching this that will say, oh, I pay, I don't pay enough taxes. I should pay more taxes, right? Well, billionaires are no different. They don't want to pay any more taxes than they have to. And they don't want to help out if they don't have to, right? There are a lot of people, there are a lot of billionaires that do, um, you know, are, are very much uh, philanthropists and they give away money to good causes. I'm not saying that that's not the case, right? I'm saying that when it comes down to, you know, uh, a fundamental thing that we've paid for, and we've paid for this, and I think that that's one of the things that he misses the point of, right, is that average Americans have paid in to Social Security, not just for years, but for decades. When I was a paper boy, when I was a kid, I was paying Social Security, right? That is not something that is that should be, you know, kind of thrown away or disregarded because we've all worked hard to get some sort of 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 dignity at the end of our lives and and be able to retire with just a little bit of a little bit of something coming back to us. We paid it in for so many decades. So, you know, I, I, I just thought, you know, this is something that really kind of got under my skin. I saw this, this, um, this article in Money Wise here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not. Um, but I saw this, this, this article about Larry Fink, and I just I felt the need to say something about it because it's, it's so tone deaf. And, and it, has no, it has no bearing on reality as we know it, uh, you know, and, and, and all of, I think everyone my age or a little bit older are probably uh, struggling to make ends meet in retirement. I know people who are struggling to make ends meet in retirement and to tell them they should have worked longer is an idiot's dream, okay? Uh, but you can comment on this if you'd like, and I'm sure I will get comments. Um, 
but uh, you know, I, I wanted you to wanted you to know my feelings on it and uh, and see what you had to say. Thanks so much for listening. Oh, and if you like this, please do subscribe to my channel, and we'll be talking more about retirement. And maybe I won't be as as strident about some of that other stuff. Thanks. Bye.